Well, Sister Karen is a real tough cookie. <laughs> she really was. And when I, I met her, I was, I said, they're nuns? Because <laughs> they told me, Carlos told me, he says, they're sisters. And they're the ones that, you know, run this program. And I looked, I said, they are? Because I was, my children went to parochial school, but I was used to seeing nuns in it. Habits. So then all of a sudden I looked over and I saw her and she was smoking. And I was shocked. <laughs> I really was. And I said, she's smoking. <laughs> and they said, yeah, she smokes. <laughs> but she knew exactly what she was doing. She knew exactly what she was doing. She was giving everybody the opportunity to learn about art and to follow through with their life with art. She couldn't take their hands and she couldn't take them by the hand and go with them. Could she? No. She allowed them to experience art. And that's what they did. That's what she did. That was her mission. She wasn't there to make a lot of money. Her mission was to give the experience to the artist. And a lot of artists would come into um, the studio, I remember, and they were just getting out of art school. They graduated from art school. And they were completely lost. Because they don't teach them what you have to do to get into galleries. They don't teach them that. Sister Karen would say, she would say, you have to do 50 paintings of the same thing. And only one or two will be any good to show. And she was right about that. The other thing she said, and I always remember this, no matter how well you take your technique is, how well you put it down, if you don't bring life to that piece, it's dead and it's no good. So she was quite the, quite a person. I learned a lot with Sister Karen. And I really appreciate what she gave. She gave a lot. <laughs>